Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. I'm hearing God's plan and you made it, okay? So it, it seems like there is something here that is, um, yeah, look at this. You have the Emperor and the Ten of Cups splitting the deck there. So for a lot of you, you may be um, thinking a lot right now just about your overall structure of your family. You could be healing family issues, okay? Um, you may have taken some type of temporary break or pause. Some of you could have even been separated from a person if this has anything at all to do with a particular relationship. But this to me just looks like a lot of balance, a lot of structure, a lot of healing of the masculine energy. Um, or if this isn't you, you know, if you are a, a feminine watching, this could be a masculine around you. Some of you could be healing issues with... Um, a masculine in your family with the Ten of Cups being here. It looks like someone has just become enlightened about a particular situation. And this has a lot to do with the home, with the family, or you're working on this. Um, with the Justice card here and the Emperor, you guys, I do you feel like you are receiving some type of justice when it comes to a masculine. So this could be a father figure. Um, this could be the father of your children. Something like that. The King of Swords here. There's a very, very intentional like masculine energy here. If I'm not mistaken... Mars is in retrograde right now, and I think it's in Gemini or something like that. So something could be really changing with the communication between you and a masculine. Like I said, this could be a masculine energy that you have a family with or that's in your family. So you guys could be healing issues with like, you know, it could be a brother. It could be an uncle. It could be a dad, a grandfather. Um, there could be legal situations here in the family. Definitely could be something here about like an inheritance or something that someone has worked on. Some of you just are, you know, even if you're the feminine, you're you're mastering something with your own masculine energy. Okay. I definitely see people taking charge right now, um, moving in new directions, really speaking from a very truthful tongue. The nine of wands is here. Yeah, so there's been some type of ongoing battle, perhaps. Um with a person of authority. This could even have something to do with someone in the workplace. There definitely could be a legal situation here. Um, family court or something like that is going on. I feel like there's a lot of toxicity here. Yeah, a lot of things here in the past that is being wiped out. Um, with this moon card here and the devil, this to me just looks like a lot of illusions here. With this full moon, you may be really breaking away from a lot of things. There's a lot of red out here. So there could be issues right now. Not necessarily issues, but maybe you are working to balance like your root chakra. And again, that is your firm foundation. That's home life, that's family, that's security, stability, and all of those things here. Definitely a lot around the like childhood. I think root chakra is something that you really work on like from ages, like from birth until the age of like seven. Um, this is your structure. This is your foundation. It's like I said, your home, like your, your conditioning and I feel like there's illusions here in your life that has a lot to do with your conditioning, with, you know, uh, maybe the, the man in the family. This could have something to, like I said, with a male that you have a family with. But it looks like there's just a clearing away of a lot of things here that may have left the inner child wounded. This is a part of like this karmic cycle that is coming to a close right now. Which is a good thing because this, yeah, the five of swords here with the, the wheel of fortune. So with the five of swords being here, I, I feel like this has been a long road. There's been a lot of delays here, but there is certainly some type of awakening. Um, you're becoming enlightened about the fact that there's a situation here that was fated or something here that is fated to happen is about to come into fruition. Whatever it is, it's going to bring you something that's tangible. It's going to bring a lot of security and stability. And this comes after a time of a lot of confusion and illusions, being maybe disappointed, having some type of regret. Your ships are coming in here and it's coming in the form of something that's very fulfilling emotionally. This could be new love. This could be um, some type of purchase. It could be a new job. It could be something, but whatever it is, it's like you're getting a clean slate here. Definitely some type of news, communication, or an offer coming in. This could for sure, yeah. Someone could be coming in making you a very serious offer. Someone is seeing you as the empress. 
Okay, so we have the Empress and the Emperor here. So for a lot of you, you're healing something very, very deep from your past. And it's allowing like love to come in. True love. This could be for some of you, it could be a lover that's returning. Some of you, um, there could have been a separation or a divorce that took place or someone has been in some type of family court situation, custody battle, um, just some type of issue possibly with children. So you could be reconnecting with someone from your past that you have a family with, or for some of you, you're healing things in your family and um, it's allowing you now to be prepared. I'm, I'm just seeing some type of growth, I'm kind of going from like the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. So there is some kind of, oh, okay. Here's the King and Queen of Pentacles. And here's the Hierophant. So this is some type of marriage here. Okay. Um, I have to be honest. I'm getting divorce energy. Because the Tower is here and the Death card. This is something being eclipsed out. So for some of you, if there's been like an ongoing battle or situation between you and someone that you have kids with or a situation in the family. It could be paternity issues. It could be inheritance. It could be um, a custody battle. Whatever it is, that's being cleared out. And there is something brand new coming in. And here you have the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups with the Six of Wands. Okay, yeah. So you probably have been at a crossroads and experiencing a lot of strongholds because of something in your family. So there's illusions here from past situations that's concerning a relationship or just a, a masculine energy, this is being cleared away. So with this eclipse, for some of you, you've possibly been married, but someone had a choice to move in a different direction, I feel. This just looks to me like someone, um, because they are becoming more enlightened and awakened, they're choosing to leave one situation and go towards what really makes them happy. There is a very conventional type of relationship here. Two people who could have been married to have kids um, may have been together for a very long time, especially with the lover's card being here. Um, definitely felt like they were they were supposed to be together because of obviously with the Hierophant here, religion, similar backgrounds or whatever. But you may be realizing because of an enlightenment, um, starting to heal and do shadow work. You may start to feel like you and someone, you're not as compatible now with the hangman and the five of swords here. There's a situation I feel between two people where you're feeling defeated in that relationship. And if this is you, you could be just an outsider looking in. Um, you could have a person that's going through this, that's coming towards you. Take it however it resonates. But I do feel that someone here has become enlightened about something and there's a toxic type of energy that is being eclipsed out for someone that has been in a relationship with someone maybe that they have kids with or it's traditional it's arranged it's due to um backgrounds but someone is realizing that their background doesn't really define who they are now and they're wanting to move in the direction of going towards something that is very emotionally fulfilling which is the reason why now someone is choosing to give equal give and take to the queen of cups the queen of cups is Someone that someone is emotionally drawn to and they're choosing to go in the direction of this Queen of Cups to actually make a long-term stable committed offer. Where they know that there's going where they know that they have an, uh, an opportunity to really be happy. So someone is no longer wanting to be in an arranged life situation or a conventional marriage. They're wanting to go towards their own legacy and they know that this has to be rooted in love. Okay. And someone has been at a crossroads about this for a while. Well, this eclipse is coming in and it's bringing death, transformation, endings, you know, rebirth. Yeah. Wow. 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 So the King of Cups. So obviously the King of Cups is going to make this offer to the Queen of Cups so that they can have a long term stable life. Okay. Okay. But you have here the Queen of Wands, okay, with the Magician card. And there's a Page of Wands here and the Sun. I feel like this Queen of Wands could have been um, someone's wife or the mother of their child with this page being out here. I feel like there's some type of manipulation here that has been used to keep someone in a connection. And it may have a lot to do with children because I'm definitely picking up like family court here. Someone has been manipulated to stay in a situation with 
because of a child. This could be a male or female child. It could be two children. Okay. Um, but you have someone here who has been trying to manifest the life that they want to have joy and contentment in their life. And they've used this, this child or these children as a way to keep someone. Someone is saying, no, the universe is coming in saying, no, there's a masculine who will not be allowed by the divine to stay with someone anymore due to children or because of lies. So with this tower moment here, for some reason, I'm getting exposure energy. Something may come out about some children that may be very disturbing to a masculine, especially with the justice card being here and the four of swords. This may knock somebody off their feet because someone could actually find out that they've been caring for a child that's not theirs. Yeah, and this is going to cause this person to make a very sudden impulse, like take... This person is going to suddenly take action. Yeah, someone here is for sure getting a wake-up call. Wow. And look at this. I can't make it up. You see this four of cups and the page of cups and the empress? Someone is truly finding out, I feel, that there is something false about the mother of their child or possibly a, a child or children. And whatever this mother this wife, this mother figure, whomever is, is offering as an apology to this emperor, they're not accepting it. This person has already had a wake-up call and realized that someone has been lying about a child or children. Someone has also been using various tactics of manipulation, possibly even black magic, to get their way in a situation. So whatever this person is now trying to offer to this masculine, they're not buying into it at all. This person is seeing this situation as a as a burden and they just want to move forward. Now, everyone, this doesn't have to be a child. For some people, this can be a business that they have with someone, but someone is for sure sharing assets and liabilities. They could be staying together because they're on a lease or whatever the case is, but someone has been almost like blackmailing someone or giving them some type of ultimatum I don't know, like so, someone has been strong on me, someone, because they don't want this person to have a passionate new beginning. Because whoever this masculine is, this masculine has their eye on a spiritual union with someone. This high priestess is someone that this masculine is trying to honestly keep in the dark. So this could be a divine feminine that a masculine has their eye on and wants to take action towards. Or this could be someone from their past, okay? Keep in mind, sometimes these, and this is energy, so you could have already met this person, or this could be someone from your past. I'm, I'm saying, sorry, you could have met this person and they're from your past, or this is someone that you could know from a past life. But someone has their eye on going towards something that is more in alignment with them spiritually. And if you know this person, most likely, whoever they're with, they know about you as well. But I feel like you have a mask and if you do know them, they're trying to keep you in the dark. Um, they feel like they need to kind of keep this situation hidden because for a lot of people, this has a lot to do with money and like some type of legal situation here. This person has a very cold, angry, bitter type of person that is trying to make, yeah, someone here is demanding money. Someone's demanding money and the truth is going to come out. And I feel like whatever this truth is, it's probably going to be related to some ch to children. Um, I'm definitely getting like a paternity issue um, or a custody issue. And it's going to be very devastating for someone here, but it's what is necessary. It, it seems this tower moment for someone to see that someone here causes more pain. Than, and, and suffering than anything else. And this is going to really push someone into working very, very hard. But someone here had to figure out the missing piece as to why exactly they were being held back from actually healing and moving forward. Yeah, someone here needs to heal, move forward, start giving to themselves and stop being in one-sided situations so that they can take a, a leap of faith to go into an a partnership where there is equal give and take. Someone is just realizing that they're not they're not in a, a situation that is is built off of love. It's a very faulty foundation. And unfortunately someone here is just really about to find out um a, a very devastating truth. But it's almost like one of those situations, like, of course, God's plan. Yeah, eight of swords here. Someone has been in some type of mental entrapment here that has, has been purposely placed there to keep them 
stuck, trapped, and blocked and unable to celebrate or possibly reconcile with someone or just go towards their own friends, family, or soul family or whatever it is. Also, someone could have been incarcerated at some point, okay? Someone could be um, coming out of jail. This could be really stirring the pot because I feel like with someone getting out of jail or someone going to jail possibly, there are some type of secrets that's coming out. And I feel like this has a lot to do with some type of third party situation and a child. Someone is realizing because someone is going to jail or someone is getting out of jail, someone is asking questions. And I feel like the paternity of a child is, is in question now. Yeah, someone here has been carrying a secret for a long time. And I feel like this could be someone that's been carrying a secret for a long time out of greed. Okay. There also could be a person here. Um, wow. Here we go. Getting a little deeper. There could be a masculine here who knows that the child of another masculine is not theirs because they know it's actually their child. However, this person never stood up or said anything about the child out of greed. They didn't want to pay child support or whatever the case is. This is something here that has been kept a secret for a really long time, I feel. For seven to, to, to 10 years here, someone could have went to jail for seven to 10 years. There could be a child here that's between the ages of seven to 10. But you have a woman here who wanted to enjoy the fruits of a masculine's labor. And therefore, she's lied about situations and it makes perfect sense now looking at it because you have an emperor and a king of swords here so you have two people who both could be in positions of authority in some way um and there could have been some type of legal situation these two men may work together and someone here may actually find out that their child is not their child their child could actually be someone that they worked closely with it could be the other person's child and I don't know if one of these masculines, like I said, has been away. Someone could have even been in the military and been away. But there's something about a person here having limited access or mobility um, to a particular person, place, thing, or situation. This also could have just been someone here has been under spell work or magic, unable to see the truth. But whatever this truth is that's coming out, it's going to allow someone to finally be able to celebrate because they're going to get a clean break here. This is going to bring about drama, but this is what happens in these eclipses. This is this is a tower moment that's coming in to wipe something out for good. This is like God saying, you won't get to go back to this. And sometimes when people refuse, see look, the two of pentacles and the two of swords, when people refuse to make choices, when they refuse to walk by faith instead of sight, and they choose to live a double life and constantly juggle, the universe will come in and cause an ending and cause enough delays and this divine intervention to force a person to balance themselves out. Someone here is being forced to walk away from a person who has just been causing major blockages and delays in their life. Now, the storyline here is very, very clear and strong here about the about the paternity of a child being an issue. Of course, it's not everyone's story, so only take it if it resonates. But I do feel strongly that there is a woman here who is about to be um, found guilty of playing two different masculines. And these masculines, from what I can tell, they know each other. They work closely with each other. They have some kind of past. Um, definitely could be a situation here um, related to money or children or family or all of these people are in the same community. They grew up together. Maybe they went to high school or college together. All of these parties are very familiar with each other. Their children could play um, but someone here is definitely finding out that their person has been doing something inappropriate with someone that they know. And this is the tower moment that's going to hit and allow someone to be very, very optimistic and passionate about finally closing out a cycle for good. When this, this cycle is closed out, though, I do feel like it's going to push someone into like a dark night of the soul where this person will be forced to really go with and they may start to isolate themselves because I don't feel like the news that is coming out is going to be good news. It looks like it's something that's going to be some type of scandal. It may be embarrassing, but it's going to put someone on the right path. It's going to give someone exactly what they need to be able to move forward. And once they get this information, they're going to be able to move forward and, and move on to peaceful, calmer waters. This is going to help someone become more decisive 
in their decision making. So it just looks like someone honestly has been stuck in a cycle, um, missing a lot of information, but someone is about to really, really get a rude, a very rude awakening um, about friendships. And, and these people here with the King and Queen of Pentacles, this is someone who is married. Okay, they're more, they're married or they've been in a very long-term committed relationship. I'm definitely seeing these people work together. But someone is going to find out that the person that they have children with and possibly live with, that person has possibly been sleeping with a friend of theirs. But not only that, this person has possibly had a child by somebody else. And they knew and they stayed in this situation because they wanted this masculine to continue providing for them. There is a masculine out here who is most likely very abundant and has probably even assisted whoever they're married to. This could be, like I said, this king of swords could be a friend of the family, um, kind of like the, the next person in charge. I, I feel like this is someone's go-to person. They may not be, um, I'm hearing specifically these two men, they may not be friends now, but they definitely have a history. Um, and as I said, there could be a child here that's between the ages of like seven to 10. Someone here has been lying. I feel strongly, um, and I, I'm going to cut this message short um, because this is a very, very specific story. Someone is finding out that their child is not their child. Their child is, yeah, someone, something here in the dark is coming to light. There's a child here that belongs to someone's friend or family member, a coworker or someone that they have history with. And whoever the karmic is, um, the woman here involved is fully aware of this, um, but has kept up this facade for financial gain and abundance. So this is going to be a really rude awakening for someone, but it's going to set someone free, I feel. And look at what I see when I picked up this deck. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. And you see here, someone is being eliminated. When I see this card here, the message that I'm getting is that there is a friend, a lover, or whomever who is going to um, be eliminated. I really hope that this doesn't turn into like a physical altercation or anything like that. But this type of news could definitely lead to um, a real like argument or a fight is devastating news. But again, I'm also seeing this too as someone here is going to really put a death to an old version of themselves and drop a lot of burdens because they're going to see that they really took the wrong path in a relationship here. Um, unfortunately, no one knows what's going to happen in a relationship, but it just feels to me like whoever this is, the signs were there. The good thing about this though, is that whoever this masculine is, once they're able to get out of this situation and drop a lot of these burdens, they're going to be able to go to the person that they're meant to be with, the lovers and the 10 of pentacles. So even with a different deck here, it's the same story. Someone has not been able to be in a reciprocal relationship where there was equal give and take because they were in a very karmic situation with someone who brought about a lot of um cheating lies and just toxicity here's the devil i cannot make it up so you know i would say that if this is someone who's on the outside looking in and you know you feel like you have a very strong connection to someone but they've been married or in a, another relationship or something like that um, hopefully you haven't just been waiting on this person, but for some of you, you could, wow. I can, I was just about to say some of you, you can expect for someone to come towards you from your past, but for a lot of you, you may meet someone that could be brand new. This person is a good person, but they are coming to you and they definitely are stressed out because of what may happen. So unfortunately, some of you, you know, you really may connect with someone that you are divinely guided to be with. This is, looks like a twin flame, high level soulmate connection, 100% that will definitely go the distance here. However, this person is someone who could have really just got knocked down by life because of this huge scandal. So this person may come to you ready to offer love and receive love, but I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, there may be challenges here because this person is going to be very confused about whether or not you're trying to hurt them. They definitely could have some trust issues. So you may have to give someone some time to actually heal. But for a lot of you, you have a person coming back to you, okay? Or someone is going to see you and they're going to automatically know that there is victory and success with you. Yeah. Oh, 
Look at that. Justice and the Emperor. So you have a masculine here who's making a decision about their future, but this decision is being forced by the divine because of a scandal. Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person here, um, this person is trying to work on taking an offer, like I said, to this Queen of Cups. Someone that they know they love, but this for some of you, this is someone from your past. This person they did, they did a lot to break your heart by choosing this other person, and un, and now they're receiving karma. And the karma is that this person has built a life with someone that is has completely betrayed them and embarrassed them. This person is going to most likely want to come towards you now to reconcile. For some of it's different for everyone. For some of you, this person they just knowingly did what they did because they were in their ego. For some of you, this person, unfortunately, could have um, did a lot of things because of spell work. The Queen of Wands being here. Okay. But this person definitely wants to have a very um, passionate beginning with the High Priestess. They see you as the one, the High Priestess and the Empress. They see you as the one that they want to be with. They are very, very clear about this. Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands. This may not be something that you're very open to at this time, but for some of you, there is an opportunity to move forward with this person. This is a cycle that is closed out. So whatever negativity was a part of that cycle is being like completely just cleared and cleansed out so that you can have a brand new cycle with this person, all right? Because this person does want to bring you an offer. So before we saw this person as the King of Pentacles, in a um, more of a conventional relationship with someone else, this person is now wanting to bring you an offer because they feel like whatever they give you, you can bring them the ultimate wish fulfillment and happiness. It's totally up to you if you choose to deal with someone from the past. Like I said, this doesn't have to be someone from the past. This could be a brand new person that's coming into your life, but this person is someone who has been wounded, okay? This person has been wounded because, you know, of, of a situation. For some of you, this person, they are actually a very honest person, okay? Um, who just, you know, they ran across the wrong person that took advantage of them. And I want to make it clear, you know, we, we do spend a lot of time saying, you know, a lot of masculines have made bad decisions, but there's a lot of really good guys out there as well who have been completely bamboozled by a, a woman by a karmic energy. And for some of you, this is someone here who was very intentional about their future. Unfortunately, with a lot of manipulation and lies in this person, being someone who really wanted to have a family and do the right thing, they decided to partner up with someone and they stayed around with this person because of a child. Okay. I feel like someone here could have had their own childhood issues and they rushed into a situation with someone and they got bamboozled. They got stuck there. All right. This was something that could have been very casual. And there ended up being a child. And the person, they just stayed in the situation because of a child. The problem, though, is that either this child or if this person has multiple children with, with someone, at least one of these children is not theirs. This is something here that's about to cut this person out of this mental imprisonment here. And they're going to be walking away from this person. For some of you, this person, you know, if you are have some kind of spiritual connection with this person, they may be coming towards you saying that, hey, you know, you told them this before because I feel like for some of you, there's a feminine here that could have warned this person of this being a situation, okay? But I'm just getting here where someone is going to be leaving someone and they're going to be coming towards you for some type of help or assistance, okay? Because they're going to be juggling. This person may lose a lot in some type of custody battle, or something like that. I did a reading. Um, it's probably been at least a year. This same storyline came out. And I've been saying for a while. Just a lot of these karmics. You know. We've noticed a lot of the masculines receiving karma. But what you haven't seen was the, the karmic feminines. Who were received. A lot of them haven't received their karma. For what they did to cause these masculines to go through karma. It's now time for them to, to get their karma as well. And this is going to reset a lot of things and balance them out so that a lot of these masculines can finally move away from situations because they're karmic. So they're in a karmic energy with a karmic partner. So it's time for them to separate themselves from those people and stop walking into these cycles. This is spirit saying, 
when this new offer is offered to you again from this same karmic energy, this time I'm going to walk you right into a trap so that you don't get stuck in this same karmic cycle. So by doing that now, the truth has to be revealed. Someone here is getting truth and it's going to be an ending that has a lot to do with children. And this is a child that someone has been financially taking care of or providing for. All right. Again, there was a message that I had about a year ago where I was saying it was a huge um, scandal, court scandal, because someone signed a birth certificate for a child that's not their child, but they're, per they're legally um, responsible for that child because they signed the birth certificate, okay? And someone allowed this person to do that. Someone could have, um, if it's not that, someone here could have possibly gotten in a relationship with someone or even married someone and decided to adopt their children, okay? And the person is now, because this masculine wants to leave or because some type of truth has come out, this person is trying to take them for everything that they're worth for children that are theirs and children that are not theirs. Because honestly, this masculine was, was trying to just do the right thing. This masculine was trying to be a stand-up person and be a leader for this family and do the right thing. And they were with a karmic person. So, um, yeah. That's what I have. I'm going to leave it here because it's a very specific story. Um, I'll do more readings and see what else, but that's a very, very specific story for someone. And for some of you, you I feel like you've known something like this would happen eventually. And I just feel with this eclipse energy, now it's really about to come out because you have a masculine here who is very, very angry and about to take, take charge in their life due to um, yeah, a secret coming out. Someone here has been holding on to a secret because they knew that it will stop someone from making the decision to move in a different direction. Someone here could, could actually be in love with someone at a distance. And whoever this wife or the mother of this child is always knew that if this masculine knew the truth and was to go towards, you know, someone that they're really in love with, they will probably leave. These are two cars here of travel. And they never wanted this person to separate, to leave, or to relocate. This person is looking into something. Now, the masculine that's looking into something. And I feel like they're very stressed and devastated. Because I honestly feel that for a lot of people, this masculine who got in this connection with this karmic feminine, they weren't intending to be with... Th this person wasn't their choice. They got in with this person because they could have been sleeping with this person. It could have been like a... Uh, a one night stand or something like that. They got into a karmic cycle with this person out of being passionate and impulsive. I don't really think that they were, they chose this person as like their forever person. And let's face it, there are some people who have been in marriages for 20 plus years simply because of finances and for children. Those situations are now being destroyed demolished um people have spiritual unions that they're supposed to be in and the universe is coming in saying it's time for those who are earth angels who are chosen to be with like-minded people so the burdens must be dropped so yes there are going to be endings here this is going to be very chaotic for some people but it's what has to happen for other people to get into their unions so